Hi everyone, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com, and before I start today's kiss card, I want to tell you a funny story. I was filming this video, and I was making a kiss card, and as the crafting went on, it suddenly became a not-so-kiss card, and this is what I came up with, and I like it, and it's pretty simple, but... Um, maybe had a couple more steps than normally I would do for a kiss card. And so I decided to use this for Stamp Nation. And these are some other cards that I made using this technique, which is the masking technique. So let me show you a true kiss card and how quick and easy it is to put together using the masking technique. You're going to use some kind of punch or framelit or die. I'm using this flower punch by Stampin' Up. You're going to take your two-way glue pen. I'm going to add a little bit of glue around my punched out shape. I'm going to let that dry and when that happens it becomes a temporary adhesive and so it becomes like a post-it note. So we're going to let this dry for just a second. Now that my mask is dry I'm going to add it to my card and I used a ruler and I just did a tiny little pencil mark where the center is. First thing I'm going to do is take Daffodil Delight and I'm going to do a little bit of sponging on top of my mask. Do a little or you can do a lot. And there are so many different stamps you can use for this also. I'm going to use this big flower stamp from the Betsy's Blossoms stamp set by Stampin' Up. And we'll just stamp that down right over our mask. And when we pull the mask up, you see this really cool flower that's been stamped inside. I'm gonna do a little bit more just to finish this card off. This uh, technique here was highlighted in the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator magazine recently, and I thought it was really fun. I've done it before, but I haven't done it in a while. So I decided it would make a great card for our kiss card feature that we have at CatherinePuller.com. I'm going to do this three quarter inch circle punch, pop it up on a dimensional, and add it to the center, and we want to bling this up and that will go straight in the center. There are many ways that you can finish this off. On this one, I did a button with some twine, Baker's twine, and then I stamped the her happy birthday straight on there and smeared it, so I cut it out and um, did a little banner, and then it was my banner wasn't long enough, so I cut this off just a little bit and put a little piece of designer series paper in there. So it's so funny when I think when I'm stamping and I make mistakes and then uh, I end up figuring out how to cover them up, and a lot of times I end up liking it better. So I always say if you make a mistake, just go with it and see where it takes you. <laughs> Speaking of mistakes, look at that. I uh, got ink around the edges and I pushed down too hard and rocked it a little bit and messed it up. So now I'm going to have to go figure out how to how to fix this. I'm probably going to do the same thing, banner and then cut a little bit off the bottom. Maybe I'll scallop punch it or something and do a little strip of DSP just for fun. I really like how that looks. So I hope you guys like this idea. You'll go try it. Look at your dies in a different way. And actually, if you've ever seen my Simply Wow program, I have quite a few different ways to do the masking technique within that. It, uh, the Simply Wow program just has uh, every 14 days you get a new video tutorial with a quick tip showing you how to take your paper crafting to the next level. So hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you like these kiss cards, be sure to check out more. And let me know what you think. Leave me a comment in the section here on YouTube or on my blog or on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Happy stamping. I just wanted to pop in here real quick again. Once the camera stopped rolling, the stamping did not stop. So this is what I ended up with. Uh, you know, I made that big boo-boo with the happy birthday. And then when I glued that on, I ended up having to move it up. And when I pulled it off, I had a little boo-boo down here because some of the paper tore. So I decided to do a little scallop, some flags, and <laughs> I just kept going. So like I said earlier, a lot of times when I have a boo-boo, I end up with something that I like even better. I think this card came out really fun. Hope you enjoy it as well. Be sure to hop over to my blog for all of the details on this card and all the close-up uh, photos of all these projects. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.